I'm just going to do some summary of functions and in particular talk about how important I think it is to sketch functions. So let me draw a function here and I'm just going to make it go from minus 1 to 1 and have a height of a and we're going to call this function x of t and we're plotting it as a function of t. So let's consider that function and think about how we might uh, modify that function or look at it in different ways. So let's say you're interested in x of tor. What is x of tor? Well it's the same function and if you plot it with respect to tor it's going to be exactly the same. So it goes between minus 1 and 1 and has a height of a. So just changing the thing inside the brackets does not change the shape of the function. And I think that's very important. Okay, let's look at shifting the function. So let me say we're going to have a new function, y of t, and let's say that is going to equal x of t minus tor. And I'm deliberately using tor here because it's going to be important when we talk about convolution. So what is x, minus, uh, x of t minus tor? Well, we're plotting this, depends what you're plotting it against, well, we're plotting it against t because we've got, we're looking at y of t. So let's plot it against t. So this one is now going to be a function of tor. So let's pick a value of tor and we just draw it here. Tor could be positive like I've drawn, or if tor was negative, it would be on the other side. Let's just look at it here. Okay, so what is going to be the value of our function, y of t, at tor? Well, let's see. When the value of t equals tor, we put that into this expression here because we're saying y of t equals x of t minus tor. So it's a shifted version of x. So when t equals tor, that's, what, that's at this point here, when t equals tor, our function equals x of 0. And what's x of 0? x of 0 is a number. And if we look up here at our function x, and we look at the thing in the brackets, when it's 0, you've got this height here, a. So it's going to be a height a at this point, where t equals tor. Okay, so y of t at t equals tor has the height of a. Now we, I think it's interesting if we can think of where different parts of our function have moved to. So let's think of where this point has moved to. Okay, so for y of t, let's see what happens here. What this means is, it means when the, th the way I think about this is when the thing in the brackets equals plus one, you, you have that part of the curve. Okay, so let's think about that. So when the thing in the brackets here, inside the function x, when the thing in the brackets equals plus 1, you've got this part of the curve. So where does this part of the curve move to on the new function we're trying to draw y of t? So the thing in the brackets equals t minus tor. That's the thing inside the brackets of x. The thing inside the brackets in now is t minus tor. And we're saying when when does t minus tor equal 1? Because then we can see on this graph here where that point of interest moved to. So that point of interest is where that slope changes. Okay, so t minus tor equals 1. We're plotting as a function of t. So that means t equals, we add tor to both sides, and we get tor plus 1. So where is tor plus 1 on our curve here? t equals tor plus 1. Is it, well, that's where tor is. So tor plus 1 is here. So this interesting part of the graph has moved to here. So that's what that, and we now know that we can plot that part of the graph. Now where did this interesting part of the graph go to? Well that's when the thing in the brackets equals minus 1. So the thing in the brackets of x equals minus 1. That's that part of the curve. Well now we've got x with something else. So what, when the thing inside the brackets, and that's t minus tor, when that equals minus 1, we're going to have the location of this. So what does that mean in our new one? Well we just solve this, we add tor to both sides and we get t equals tor minus 1. So where is that on our graph here? t equals tor, tor minus 1 is here, so we have that curve. Okay, this is tor minus 1, this is tor plus 1. 
And this is the way I think about uh, plotting shifted functions. What about another function? Let's say we're going to make a function z of tor, which equals x of t minus tor. Okay, so it looks the same function on the right hand side, but now we're plotting it as a with respect to tor. So here we've got tor and not t. So now let's plot this function. Okay, now this function we're plotting with respect to tor, so we're going to do it for all different values of tor, and, and it's for a particular value of t. So let's pick a value of t. We pick one here, for example. It could be anywhere. Again, if t was negative, it would be this side. T is positive, it would be this side. So again, we say, well, where, which part of the graph from up here do we now have at t? Well, the value of when tor equals t, we're going to be at this point. Okay? And so when tor equals t in here, we've got 0, x of 0. Again, that's the height of a. And now we ask ourselves, well, where does this point go? We ask the same process. So where this point goes, this is when the thing in the brackets equals plus 1. The thing in the brackets now, t minus tor equals 1. And now we want to know where it goes with respect to tor, because we're plotting with respect to tor. So that implies tor equals, so now we can put tor onto the, um, add tor to both sides and take 1 from both sides. That's t minus 1. So there's t, t minus 1 is here. So now that interesting part of the curve now when we're plotting with respect to tor, has moved to here. Okay, now this interesting part is when the thing in the brackets, t minus tor, equals minus 1, and that implies tor equals t plus 1. Just solve this here to find tor equals t plus 1. We're plotting with respect to tor, so that's here, t plus 1. So that is the curve we have. So if we're plotting with respect, this shifted version of x with respect to t, it looks like this. If we're plotting it for a value of tor, and that tor could be plus or minus, if this tor was negative, this whole thing would be shifted to there. And here it is on the positive example. But if we plot it with respect to tor, the same function where we plot with respect to tor for a particular value of t, the function looks like this.